what is my device pin for Gmail? If you're wondering what your device pin for Gmail is and how it works, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, it's important to understand that your Gmail pin or Google account pin is not the same as your Gmail password or the pin you use to unlock your device. This pin is an extra layer of security to protect your Google account and the data associated with it. When do you need to use this pin? Well, there are several situations where it might be required. For example, if you're setting up a new device and need to access your Google account, you might be asked for your PIN. It's also necessary when you approve purchases in Google Play, send money through Google Pay, or set up certain devices like a Roku box with Google Play Movies and TV. To create or change your Google account PIN, you'll need to follow some simple steps. If you're using an Android device, you can manage your PIN through the Google Admin app. Here's how. Open the Google Admin app, switch to your administrator account if necessary, and go to the Settings menu. From there, you can either set a new PIN or change an existing one. If you've forgotten your PIN, you can tap Forgot PIN and follow the prompts to reset it. On a computer, you can manage your PIN by going to your Google account settings. Open your Google account on the web at myaccount.google.com, sign in, and navigate to the Security tab. Select Signing in to Google, and then Google Account PIN. You may need to sign in again to proceed. From here, you can select the option to change your PIN, enter a new one, and save the changes. Remember, this PIN is unique to your Google account and is used across various Google services to ensure that only authorized users can make changes or access sensitive information. In summary, your device PIN for Gmail is a security measure that adds an extra layer of protection to your Google account. It's used in specific situations where you need to verify your identity, and you can easily manage it through the Google Admin app or your Google account settings on the web.